digestive system. This is the most prominent organ system in the body. It includes the mouth part, a long alimentary canal, and a pair of salivary glands. Alimentary canal. It is a long and slightly coiled tube with uneven diameter and divisible into three regions foregut, midgut, and hindgut. Foregut. It includes mouth cavity, pharynx, esophagus, crop, and gizzard. Mouth cavity. Mouth cavity is a small, indefinable space outside mouth, which is surrounded by mouth parts. Hypopharynx divides preoral cavity into a posterior part called salivarium, into which common salivary duct opens, and an anterior part which leads towards mouth as a narrow food passage. Food is crushed and acted upon by the salivary secretion in mouth cavity. Mouth. Mouth is a small opening at the base of preoral cavity and leads into pharynx. Pharynx. It is short and tubular and its circular lining is more folded posteriorly. Eusophagus. From pharynx arises a long, straight, narrow and laterally compressed tube called eusophagus. It runs through the neck and enters thorax to merge with crop. Crop. It is a large, thin-walled, pear-shaped sac covered major part of abdominal segment. It is the largest part of foregut. Its internal epithelial and cuticular lining is very much folded. Its outer surface is covered by a network of trachea. Crop act as a reservoir for storing of food. Gizzard. Crop leads behind into a small cone-shaped muscular and thick walled chamber called gizzard. It consists of two parts, an interior armarium and a posterior stomodial wall. Armarium. The armarium processes internally six longitudinal folds that greatly reduce its lumen. Longitudinal fold alternate with six longitudinal grooves, which also bear small secondary folds. Cuticular lining of each longitudinal fold form in the interior part a thick plate produced centrally into strong, sharp teeth. In the posterior part, a thin plate. Behind each longitudinal fold, the cuticular lining of the gizzard form a soft cushion-like lobe, the pit. The long backwardly directed hairs which act as strainer and allow only finer food particles to pass into midgut. Stomodial wall. Behind pits. The posterior end of gizzard extend into the lumen of midgut as a spout-like narrow tube. The stomedial valve, the later fold back on itself and is thus double walled. Stomedial valve prevents regurgitation of food from midgut into gizzard. Midgut. Midgut is the short and narrow tube like middle part of elementary canal, also known as mesenteron. It is internally lined by glandular epithelium and act like true stomach, serving mainly for digestion and absorption. Hepatic cecia, opening into the interior end of midgut, are seven or eight short, narrow, blindly ending hollow tubes called the hepatic cecia. These are internally lined by epithelium and secrete digestive enzyme. Malpigian tubules. From the junction of midgut and hindgut, 80 to 19 very narrow thread-like yellow color blind tubules projecting freely into hemocyl. These are called malpigian tubules. Hindgut. The posterior 
one third part of alimentary canal forms the hinder. It is divided into three regions, ilium, colon, and rectum. Ilium is a narrow and short tube, and its posterior end is characterized by the possession of six tiny triangular lobes internally, bearing spicules and axon as a short of sphincter. Colon. Colon is long and wide, thin, and irregular shape. Rectum. Rectum is an oval or spindle shaped set with external ridges alternating with internal longitudinal thickenings called rectal pits. These are six in number and also known as rectal glands. Rectum opens to outside by anus. Thank you.